Well, all right, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of YouTube. It's Pastor Dow. Well, I'm down in Houston, Texas, my faithful Israelite son, my brother, Brother Well. He is right there, came and picked me up, nice, conducted some business out here. Well, what is the nature of this video? The nature of this video, again, is I just thought I'd check well, as soon as the plane landed, and, and I see that the Christians, they can't help. I don't know what in the world is going on. But it's fine with me because ever since I've been on that Jason Whitlock show and gave the truth to people. And let me reiterate what I said before. Listen, if y'all do not pick up that Bible and read it for yourself, especially when people say that they're going along, won't you go check it out? They're going to deceive you. I um, had somebody send me a clip of, of this guy named Vocab Malone. Now, who is he? I don't care. I don't know who he is. All I just know of him from what other people do. I have people in the ministry that they stay up on that stuff and they keep me abreast of what's going on. I really truly don't care, to tell you the truth. I do know that he's instrumental to get my name out there. He can't do nothing but talk about me, uh, which is good because you wouldn't believe how many Christians he keep bringing the straight way. <laughs> because so here's one of the things that they said that he said. And I had to actually watch this part of the video because unlike them, and unlike many other people who claim to be Israelites, if they said that somebody says something, I want to go and check it out and hear it for myself. So he goes to Deuteronomy and he says, you know, and he pulls a, a clip from my interview with Jason Whitlock. And he turns around and says, you see, he has some type of ethnic hierarchy here and he believed that they're better. And I said, well, it's not because what they say we're better. The most high y'all said we're better. And you know what he did? He read the part. He, I want y'all to read. This is what they call apologetics. This is what I call pseudo-ghetto apologetics. That's what I call it. Pseudo-ghetto apologetics. It's not even apologetics. If anything, they need to apologize for, for the ghetto so-called uh, street scholarship because it's way off. Here's the interpretation. He goes and reads the part where it says, you see, most I say that they are the least, that Israel's the least. I didn't choose you because you were the greatest. I chose you because you were the least. And he tried to diminish that meaning that we were nothing in the sight of, of the nations or Yah himself. But then what he didn't do, that's the reason why y'all need to read the book. He didn't go read the verse up above it, the verse before it. Which the Most High Yah clearly tells you that we, Israel, are special people. And then he puts it like this. Above all people that are on the face of the earth. See what I'm talking about? Listen. You're never going to come to truth. I don't care if you're listening to some of these pseudo ghetto scholarships from these camps. <laughs> or the ghetto scholarship from these Christian so-called apologetics. Listen, these people, somebody has got to fulfill the prophecy in the scripture being false teachers, false prophets, and, and, and actually deceiving people willfully. But the only way you're gonna only way you're gonna see it for yourself is you gotta check it out for yourself. You can't sit up and be fond of somebody because they look like you or they represent what you think is the truth. You've got to go and look at it for yourself. And too many times, more often than not, the people make a lot of mistakes by accepting men's personage. And then they believe just because they said it that it's true, and that's not so. But um, listen, let me give it to you in a nutshell. Repent, get out of the cities, separate yourself from the people of this wicked world. This is what you need to do. Watch this, get baptized. I know that the, 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 the ghetto One West camps don't want to, to do that, but that's what the Messiah did. We ought to follow the works that he did. Do exactly what he did. Follow him as an example. Get filled with the Holy Spirit that is mentioned over in the book of Acts, right after um, the Messiah uh, resurrected. And get that same spirit. Start keeping the commandments, walk in the newness of life, and you'll begin to see. But until you do these things, until you're very sincere, until you start checking stuff out, you're not going to find out who's telling you the truth and who's telling you a lie by receiving men's personal. You have got to do your own due diligence and do it for your own soul's sake and your own family sake because these people are not out here for your good. They are simply are not out here for your good. Bro, we appreciate you picking me up from the airport, my man. Yes, sir. Bless you, sir. Glad to know the family doing good. Hey, I was sitting there at the airport and as I was waiting, waiting on my brother, uh, people were driving by and the brothers going, hey, Pastor Dow, how you doing? Pastor Dow, good to see you, Pastor Dow. Well, see, that's what y'all helping me do. 
y'all help people realize and recognize and know they know I'm telling the truth. Some people is taking a little bit of time, but they're working to get themselves free. Some of you are not. Well, you're gonna find out, especially here it is, winter is coming. And y'all folks are stuck up in that stairway living in New York. Y'all getting ready to feel some pain, some extreme, extraordinary pain. Winter is coming.